Hello everybody and welcome back to Conquer Live and Reloaded, the walkthrough or playthrough or blag my way through. I haven't decided what this series actually is yet. This is part five. I have just escaped the mental giant haystack slash terminate a robot thing and uh, escaped being electrocuted. So I await down this tunnel and I see a character before me who looks suspiciously like E.T. But without further ado, let's get involved. So, loading screen is frozen. Oh no. Um, right, there we go. Let's do this. Ah, recognise him? I definitely threw up on him at the beginning of this episode. Um, or part one, should I say. So there's nothing else to do apart from top up my energy, which I do not need to do. And jump on his prayer book. Whoa, alright. Shirty. Yeah, bitch. Oh, fuck. He didn't like that, did he? Oh, motherfucker. Right. So, he's key to this game, I think, that geezer. I'm not entirely sure. Give me your money, bitch. Cha-ching. We know Conker loves a bit of cash. Because he's a greedy bastard. Well, thank you very much. Who wants to be a millionaire? Ha. Me, actually. Oh, yes. Little homage to the program of the same name, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Okay, so. Another load screen. That's a very short little cutscene. Ah, righty. Okay. In the previous episode, one did promise that one would see something vile and disgusting in this episode. I may have been lying. I don't know if that will be until the next episode, but nonetheless, I shall try and keep this episode short. Um, now, we've got to watch ourselves, because I know there are those nasty wasps knocking around up here somewhere. I can hear one. I cannot see him. Where are you? Right. So, there he is. Go on. Go on, mate. Fuck off. Right. So you got to wait for him, otherwise he will sting you, and you shall fall to your death. Okay, up we go. Go on, Concott. Do I need chocolate? No. Oh, bollocks. I forgot about this guy as well. One, two, three, four. One more. Come on, come on. Five. Shit. Six. I don't know what I'm doing. Love the blood on the screen, though. Absolutely love it. Uh, right. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, made it. I think there's another one. There he is. Yep. Got to time this. Sorry, Conker. Don't mean to be looking up your bum hole. Uh, but this is the only way I can do this section. Go. Yeah, quick. 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 Done it. Oh, I can stop looking up his bum. Okay. This I like to call a leap of faith. Now, we know that down there somewhere, there is a uh, water tanker of sorts. And we know it has no water in it. Look, he's reading the uh, strategy guide, I think. Or at least it's a, what is it, magazine with his game on it. Right, here we go. This is leap of faith time. Jump. And ting means press B. He turns into a giant anvil. Pow! Press the button. He got dazed the fuck up, man. And that has opened the gates down below. And I saw a furry tail, which is a continue. Marvellous. Okay, I am all fucking over this. I got this, man. I got this, man. I know this is a... Uh, this is something of an unconventional walkthrough. Uh, we don't really do walkthroughs on the game shed, but, you know. Uh, oh, go on, Conker. Down you go. I always have trouble with these fucking ladders. Um, but Mark and I were both going to be playing these games at some point through to completion. So I picked... Um, we, we picked basically essentially the same time to do a walkthrough. So if you follow our timeline or our videos on our channel just look down it and you'll see that every other day mark will release 
uh, an episode of his walkthrough, which is Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube, whilst I will release an episode of this. So we're both very excited about what lies before us. Because uh, there is a certain section coming up which I have not passed in this game. Here we go. Crazy China babies. China dolls. They take a fucking beating as well. Smashed his motherfucking head in. Cash money, bitch. Ting. Another wise guy, huh? You greedy bastard motherfuck. Love that accent. I'm gonna have that gold card before you know it. Alright. Oh, fuck. Quick, whip out the ting. I really would love to know, are there better weapons or different weapons later on in the game? Because I'm quite sick of this uh, spiky baseball bat. Right, and that is what I came for. Yeah, boy. Four continues. If you're looking for inconsistencies, if you have watched my complete walkthrough so far and have suddenly realised that hang on Jamie, you've got more continues than you had in a prior episode. Yes, that's right. That's because I started again. I did, because I'm an idiot. I got very very annoyed when I accidentally deleted my game save. Pillock. What a pillock. So there we go. We have now got lives. We have now got ourselves. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. Um, we've got ourselves past the Terminator. We've got ourselves um, through the, the, the China dolls through there. So that's a new enemy we've seen. And we have jumped in the pool up the top. And everything is looking good so far. All right. So this area is pretty much done. Let me just ensure I have full chocolate health before I exit this area once and for all. I do. I have full health now. No need to go back in here as far as I am aware. Let me just have a quick look. Uh... I'm going to have a look anyway, nonetheless. Gaping hole. Yep, absolutely no need to go back in here. What the fuck? What is all that noise? Someone is... What's he doing? Oh, he's playing this video game. He's playing like a Mortal Kombat or something. Very shit one. Alright, let's get back out of here. Don't need to be in there. We are going to exit this area and um, proceed with the game. Now, if you recall from several episodes ago, just before we came into this area, we had the choice to go left and we had the choice to go right. And we went right because according to Conquer, the way to the left smelled a bit like poo. So that is where we are headed now. And this will trigger a game save. Oh, God. I remember exactly what lies before me. And it is very unpleasant. Um, we're only eight minutes... What are we? Eight minutes into this video. I might as well do it now. Let's do it now. So we're going to go through here. Oh, Christ. What a stink. Gas mask conquer. Right, let's defeat these motherfuckers. There we go. Double hit. Still not entirely sure how to get a double hit off. As opposed to a single. Ah. Die, motherfucker. Right. So, what we have here is um, a lower section. And over here, we have an upper section. Both are riddled with danger and down here I'm not gonna go up here I'm not gonna go through there yet down here we have a sign that says no poo balls so obviously we need a poo ball 
How do we get a poo ball? That's what I'm going to show you. Oh, God. This is going to be nasty. In we go. Into the door. We're going to communicate with a Scouser. A Liverpudlian. One of the Beatles. In a moment. But back to the castle. I think... Our scientist may have stumbled on a solution to the table issue. The wobbly table. Hopefully. Let's see. What is his ingenious plan to fixing the table? He's had a eureka moment. Oh yeah? What have you done? Grown a table? Um, it does appear he has stumbled upon the fact that a squirrel is the size of the gap of the missing table leg. He's experimented quite extensively. He tried a plant, he tried an elephant, and then the natural evolution of his thinking determined that a squirrel should go in place of the missing table leg. Right, hang on. I am a squirrel. The protagonist, Conker, is a squirrel. That now means the mad scientist and the rather grumpy cat king, they are after one Conker to act as a table leg. Oh, dear, oh dear. I am in trouble. Many things. But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a squirrel. A squirrel. It was. A squirrel. Why? Why me? What have I done? I've done nothing but help these fucking animals. I roam around. I've got a banging hangover. I just want to go home. And everybody just takes fucking advantage of me. He's a cat. He's heard of a squirrel. Mm. Uh, the natural pecking order would determine that he should definitely be more familiar than having heard of a squirrel. He should be up trees chasing the fucking things. And while he's at it, he should be eating them weasels. Oh no, impending danger. Oh no, I'm going to be a table leg unless I am careful. God damn you. Right. Enough of the cutscene. Let's get involved in the shit gathering. Hey, all right, there. How are you doing? All right, mate. Come on, come on oh, that is a real accent if you are wondering out there. Well, she wear like dung beetles and you roll the poo around. F knows what's for. Oh, really? If you want, you want some poo. Um, I'd love some poo. I'd love some poo. Nice. In there is these f***ing cows. Get these f***ing cows. Crap and I'll make it a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. Excellent. He runs a very niche business. But clearly it's a business which works because, um, well, yeah. He's got a shop. After all, he wouldn't be in business if there was no business to be had. Right. Go on, fuck off, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got shit on me, boy. One more. Yeah. Right, another one. Another one. Come on. Fuck's sake. These things are too fucking hard. Right, I can't get him yet, that money up the top. So let's not even worry about that. Okay, here we go. So jump onto the rope. Another leap of, leap of faith. Another leap of faith onto the next one. Now... This one's a bit trickier over there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to climb up nice and high. Uh, maybe not that high. I need to go where all that shit is running down the wall. Oh, fuck. Yep, yeah, just made it. Right. Let's do this. Up we go. More of these fucking pointless bad guys. Really am disliking these guys. Come on. Fuck off. Ah! Oh! Aggravating. I need my health because it's about to get rather dangerous. Is there any chalky up here? 
No, it's just bits of armour. Okay, not to worry. Right, if you are of a sensitive nature or are possibly having your dinner, you may want to look away now. Or in about three minutes. Because, now, this is a pun. Shit is about to get nasty. Prune juice. It's a bull. Aha. I'm looking for some poo. I know he needs poo poo. Strange, but he needs doo doos. He definitely needs a poo poo. Red. I don't like red. Apparently, apparently he doesn't like red. I'm a red squirrel. Ow. Take it, he doesn't like red. Oh no. I don't see anything red around. Oh. Yeah, you, you ginger pillock. Ginger prejudice. Right. So we're not going to go and take on Mr. Uh, Mr. Bull. What we need to do. This is the feeding thingamajig. And we need to fill it up from uh, the tap. Which is above my head right now. That I'm there. We need to fill up this tankard. The trough. I think it's called a trough. With prune juice. And how do we do that? You ask. I can hear you asking. We need to come over here. We need to release the prune juice from its layer. Oh, fuck. Quick, quick, quick. Right, go. I'm going to get hit by a turd. Not too bad. Come on, one more. Alright, one. Jump. Disturbing noises galore in this game. Okay. Right, big arrow on top of tap. I wonder what that means. That can only mean one thing. That means run in the direction of the arrow, thus releasing the prune juice. There it goes, gushing and purple, filling up the trough. But alas, this is conquer. This is harder than just that. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bull. Yes. Bullseye. Do you see? Very clever. Right, let's uh, not fuck about. I think the rolling poo has gone. So over we go. Note that I am taking my time. And I am ensuring... I am not injuring myself. That is because it's about to get physical. Yeah, buddy. You want a piece of this red squirrel, motherfucker? That right. Did he hit? No, he never hit. Oi, fatty. Ah, oh, fuck. He got me. Right. Not to worry. There is plenty, plenty of chocolate. Okay, let's try this a different way. There we go. He hit the target. Out comes Doris. Now, this is where I believe I need a walkthrough guide for later bits in the game. When I initially played this back in the day, I got very stuck on this bit because it doesn't really say what you should do. Now, it's it's reasonably simple at first, but then it gets a bit more complex, and you shall see why in a second. Go, 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 go. Ah, fuck. I forgot. I forgot he was still after me. Missed. You fat fuck. Right. So what I'm going to do... Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on, you need to jab this, you shit. There we go. Jump down. Ride that boy. And then, what we need to do, we need to jab old Daisy over here. With the B button. Bosh. Stop your nonsense, young man. Goodness me. Stop your nonsense. Now I'm going to go for a little meander over here. Hmm. She's she's reasonably thirsty now. Handy then that I filled up her drinky, isn't it? Mmm, cranberry juice. 
She loves a bit of cranberry. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like cranberry, does it? You silly cow. Another pun. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Oh, hello. Oh my word! She's just shit herself. Oh, she's gone. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, everyone. I did give you warning about this. Oh, gratuitous close-up of her Aris. Spraying. Abs absolutely spraying. Oh, fucking hell. Poor old Mavis and Olive. Your mate is fucking nasty. Oh, yeah. Spray my asshole everywhere. Right, this is where things get a little bit more confusing. Just about ready to go. Now, to me, if someone says just about ready to go, that means just about ready to have a shit. But no. Right, what they actually mean is just about ready to die. So what we're going to do, we're going to kill her. Bosh, cow guts everywhere. Okay, she is now dead. I have been slung from my my uh, trusty steed. Uh, my bull. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, so what I need to do now is do the whole process again. And that's where the game gets confusing. It doesn't actually say to do it again, but you're just meant to know. Okay, so he's hit the target. Out comes the same cow. Uh... Ah, and then what we're gonna do? Come on, oi, come here, oi, fatty, fatty, oi. There you go, right, jump down, ride right, that boy. Okay, let's go. Oh fuck! Come on. Shit, I think I've missed. Missed. That's all right. Flings me over here. I'll get some chocolate while I'm here. Come on! Come on, Conker. Right, one. There's plenty of chocolate over here. There's one on almost every segment. So let's just top up to six bars, please. There's five. And there's number six. Right, let's get back behind the target. Duck down. Jump up. Oi! Oi! Tit face. You silly fucking ball. Right. Off we go. Oi! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, let's go round a bit. Got to line this up perfectly. Alright, that should do it. Bosh. There we go. So let's keep on. She's, uh... We've now initiated her needing a shit. See? So off she goes for a drink. I can stay on this ball while she does so. And she's going to run back over to the toilet and just shit everywhere. Hopefully. And we'll give it a few seconds and then we shall kill her. Because, because, just, why not? Right, what do we reckon? Reckon she's ready to die? Yeah, let's kill her. Oh, yes. Bosh, cow guts and shit in the same hole. And he should sling me. All right. Off we go. Ah, uh, fuck, 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 run. There we go. I'll take one for the team. Let's go back over here. Release another cow. Is there another cow? There's another cow. Run back. Whole process again. Sorry if it feels a bit like deja vu. Not the Denzel Washington film, but just in general. Feels like you've seen it all before. Yeah, it was very funny the first time, but the third time it's a bit like, oh, come on. Right. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. Come on, jab, jab, jab. Make her thirsty. Off you go. Go and get a drink, love. There you go. It's just me being affectionate. You look thirsty. I'll spike you with me horns. Go on, Conker. How long can you rodeo, motherfucker? Whoa. I'm a big bad rodeo motherfucking squirrel. That's right. Here she comes. She's about to go number twos. And we are about to get out of this walkthrough. Okay. 
Alright, we better kill her before she shits her lungs. Alright, line her up. Here we go. Bosh! That's number three. I have been dashed from the ball. He's like, say what? Why am I such a fat bastard? You fatty. You absolute fucking filth. Seems to be filled up with poo. That should do it. Excellent. So, um, wow. So I am done, and I am going to leave this episode here. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to, rather than spoil it and show you where to go and all that good stuff, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to run back through the door and initiate a save. Sorry if you were not prepared for that scene. It was frightfully disturbing. Um, so, oh look. Look at this. We certainly weren't swimming before. So let's not spoil it. And let's get back out of here. Oh man, I've got shit dripping off me. That is absolutely fucking grim. That's right, you shake that shit off. Uh, so that has been part five of Conquer Live and Reloaded. Yeah, you have a little read of Fur Only um, exclusive with your missus on the front cover. Filthy bitch. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. Remember to leave a comment, leave a thumbs up as usual. And go and have a little check down our timeline. Check out our playlists. And uh, hope you enjoy your stay. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And until the next time, see you later.